Good morning. This is Dr. Franz, and I am going to have a tutorial with you on how to listen to heart sounds. As part of our virtual visits, which are awesome, I love them because they're so convenient, uh, especially for you. And actually, we tend to stay a little more on time with virtual visits. So, but being able to listen to the heart, the lungs is impossible virtually, right? So I'm here to empower you in helping us help you by showing you how to listen to a child's heart, okay? It's really easy. So here's our child today. He's helped us before. He's such a sweet boy. So you want to get a stethoscope. Now you can get one from Amazon inexpensively. This is a Littman, all right? And we tend to really like these, but uh, I was on and there are some that are as low as $39.99 with four and a half star ratings. So just have a stethoscope. Um, I've even seen some of the toy ones that work well, but let's not do that, okay? So get a stethoscope. They typically come with two heads, the big head, the little head. The little head is more for the children. You put it in your ears, okay? I'm not doing that at the moment. If you want, I, I still use the big head on children. Okay, but you can use the little one if that helps more. And pretty much a child's heart will sit in the center of the chest. So you can start there. Feel free though to listen because we talk about things like the left upper sternal border. Okay, the apex, which is the lower left sternal border, the center. Um, so just, you know, it doesn't take much to shift around and listen. Listen to your own heart too. A normal heartbeat is lub dub love dub love dub okay i'm going to share a video uh it will not play for you so i'm just going to show you what it is so you can go listen a couple of videos because they're very informational and when you can hear it it makes a difference it's one thing to tell you but when you hear it it's like oh duh right okay so that's what we're going to do before i do that though i want to share um I want, I want to share some little instructions because it's really a lot easier than you think. Okay. I just, let me find them. All right. So listening to a child's heart actually is easy. Now the child does need to be quiet. You cannot hear what you need when he or she is screaming. Really nice to do it when you're new at this while they're sleeping, napping, okay, sitting quietly in your lap and happy. You put them at stethoscope mid-chest. I, you know, you can hear everything from there and feel free to move it lightly left or right so you can hear the changes in the, in the um, sound resonance of the heart. You, as I said, you get Littman or other from Amazon at a reasonable price. Now we like to see children once a year in person so we can listen ourselves and be sure that all is well. And so that's why it's okay, once a year, it's great, let's do that, right? And I don't care if it's a sick visit or a well visit, right? That way we can listen um, and feel assured. And if things are not, then, well, hello, we deal with it. If you live out of state or out of country, we'll have someone at urgent care or your local doctor, be sure to listen in person to validate what you're hearing as well. Anything that sounds abnormal to you, have your child seen in person, common sense, right? I'm not here to turn you into a doctor, all right? I am here to empower you um, and to really validate your intuition and your parent sense. If you do have a child who has a ventricular septal defect or other heart abnormality, be sure you listen with the stethoscope. It is really educational. And as you become familiar with his or her heart sounds, um, you know, when the doctor says, oh, things are better, things are worse, uh, you can hear it too. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna bring up a video on YouTube that you can watch at your leisure since apparently it won't play um, when, I'm, when I'm sharing it. So this is Toddler Heart Sound, Toddler Vital Signs, Pediatric Nursing, Christina NP. This is really a good video. Um, she goes through 
the normal sound, which is great. And as you'll see in a minute, she tells us here what the normal vital signs are for a three to five year old. Heart rate 80 to 130 beats a minute. For younger children, you know, infants to to whatever, the heart rate is a little higher, you know, 90 to 140. Respiratory rate in infants is higher in like the 40s, but by a year it begins to drop to the 30s and then three to five, 20 to 28. Um, it's not beats per minute in respiratory, but breaths per minute. And then uh, blood pressure. Now we don't ask you to do blood pressure until over three. Um, which is, you know, fine. So I, lo I love this because it's so basic. And, um, you know, and then she's talking about the normal heartbeat of a four-year-old. And you can hear the normal, the sounds are called sound one, sound two, sound three, sound four, okay? So that is a lovely video for you to watch. There are others. There is one called... Um, with covering heart. This one, I'll share this one. It's called Heart Sounds for Beginners. This guy is pretty thorough, and you may or may not want to listen to all of it. Um, I just, YouTube is really great with so much information. So, Heart Sounds for Beginners. Okay. But so, really, it's so easy. You just, you get a stethoscope, you put, you listen, you listen every day if you need to for a while till you're familiar. When they're sick, listen when they're sick too, okay? Heart rates are increased with fevers. Uh, so if up to 130 is normal, it may be 160 with a fever of 104, 105, okay? A heartbeat of 200 is too high, all right? We're gonna wanna be seeing that child. So I hope that this is helpful. So again, you have ingredients, your child, your stethoscope in your ears, Listing in the center of the chest, all right? And you can go to the left upper sternal border, the left lower sternal border, a little bit over. Sometimes I just listen on the right, okay? Um, we did have one child, really interesting, perfectly normal. And when you're listening to the heart though, the sounds were way louder on the right. And it was like, what is that? Well, this child actually had what we call dextrocardia, meaning the heart was on the right side of the body, not the left, just reversed, completely normal. Uh, so really interesting. I mean, that's I've seen one in 40 years, so it, that's just a share. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful. You have your child, you have your stethoscope, you listen, normal heart sounds are just lub dub, 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 you know, a little fast, right, in children. So yeah. You can do it. You're really good parents. So thanks for listening and we'll see you soon. And in your next virtual visit, you'll have a heart rate and let us know how it is. Okay, we'll see you soon.